Hi, student 7777. Um, first, your test, your vocabulary test for Viking ships at sunrise. Uh, you got 19 out of 25, and you're really slow. Um, so for the whole test, you got 83%, okay? Um, which is which is okay. And your homework was good. Your homework was good. I was happy with your homework. Um, yeah, I think you tried harder. And then for your Berenstein Bears, you got 9 out of 10. Okay, only one mistake. And next class, you're going to do this vocabulary quiz, as well as Invisible Stanley. Okay, so I'll give you Invisible Stanley. Now, for Berenstein Bears, you have to do this test, okay? And um, I want to just talk about some of the words right now, okay? So there's lots. So this video might be a little bit long. So word number one is cram. Cram. Cram means that you have a big test and you study, 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 but not in a good way. You study, 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 study just before the test. Okay? Maybe you need five hours to study. You don't do one hour Monday, one hour Tuesday, one hour Wednesday. You don't do like this. You do the five hours just before the test. Okay? So if the test is at 12 a.m., uh, two, sorry, 12, 12 p.m., you study from 7 a.m. all the way up to 12 p.m., okay? Um, that's called cramming, cramming. So it's, it's not a good way to do a test. Uh, number two is nephew. Nephew, if you have a brother or sister and they have a son, then that's your nephew. That's your nephew, okay? Um, you're the uncle, and that's your nephew. So nephew and uncle are kind of the same. Okay, so a nephew is going to be a boy. And in the book, uh, Ferdy was a nephew, okay? Uh, paleontologist. Uh, number three is paleontologist. This is someone who basically studies dinosaurs. Um, but because dinosaurs are gone, uh, they only look at the bones, dinosaur bones, okay? Uh, an archaeologist. An archaeologist is also someone who, who studies the past, but they study humans, so not, not so long ago. And they usually, like, they'll dig up old cities and stuff like that, and they want to see um, the art and uh, the food people ate from a long time ago. This is an archaeologist. If you like movies, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is an archaeologist. Frown. Number five, frown. This is called frowning, okay? Um, the picture of the boy there is frowning, okay? Uh, an artifact. An artifact is something an archaeologist wants, okay? An artifact is um, they dig and they dig and they find, ah, oh, maybe a coin. This is a coin from 2,000 years ago. It's an artifact, okay? Uh, uncivilized. Uh, on the last test, we had civilization, and civilization, you, you got it wrong on the test. Civilization means human society, okay, humans, human beings, people, people, people. Uncivilized means you're not acting like a person, you're acting like uh, an animal, okay? So hitting somebody is uncivilized, um, getting really, really super angry is uncivilized, we, we think, we think, okay? A nerd. A nerd is someone who does very well at school. Um, someone who reads, 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 reads. And uh, they do very well at school, but maybe no friends. Okay? They don't have very many friends because um, uh, maybe they just spend so much time reading, reading, reading that they don't know how to talk to people. Okay? So this is what we call someone nerd. And the name of the book is uh, Nerdy Ferdy. Okay? Um, stuck up. Stuck up is someone whose nose is in the air. Okay, that's what's stuck up. Okay, their nose is stuck up. Um, it means that they think they're better. You know, if someone is stuck up, Daryl. Daryl is so stuck up. He thinks he's better than everyone else. He doesn't have to look at you. He doesn't have to talk to you because he's better. Oh, I'm number one. Like this. Um, maybe they wear expensive clothes and they think they're important. Okay? Crush. We talked about crush. Crush means a boy likes a girl or a girl likes a boy. Okay? They have a crush on her. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, they would say, I have a crush on her. Okay? It means that you like her. Uh, suspiciously. Uh, suspiciously means that um, 
someone will do something and then second person doesn't believe them. They're like, what? No, 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 no. This is a sp suspicious person, okay? Uh, a trophy. You're the winner. You're the winner. You win. Here's the trophy. Uh, an opiate. Uh, an opiate is a drug that will give you less feeling, okay? Um, it, it changes your body. So if someone hits you, if you have opiate and then someone hits you, it doesn't it doesn't feel so bad, okay? That's opiate, opiate, okay? Uh, pupil. Uh, pupil um, means student. In this case, it means student, okay? Fed up with means you're tired of something. Like, oh, I'm fed up with the rain. If it rains Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You say, oh, I'm fed up with the rain. I want the sun. Um, you can say, I'm fed up with Teacher Daryl's tests. <laughs> you can say that, but it won't matter. I will still give you a test. Um, so fed up is you want to change in something, okay? Uh, number 16. Number 16 is wimpy. Wimpy. So if someone's wimpy, it just means they're not strong, okay? It says weak here. It's someone who just, you know, if they're going to fight, they're going to lose. Um, this is a wimpy person. Or someone who's always hurt. Or someone who's always... Um, uh, you know, not doing well. Okay, this we say someone's very wimpy. Shrug is this one. My shoulders, they shrug. Um, hey, Daryl, do you know um, how to speak uh, German? German language? I don't know. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, astronomy. Astronomy means you're studying the stars. Maybe telescope, okay? Uh, swim chunks. Swim chunks, there's a picture on your thing about swim chunks, okay? A boy's swimming suit. Quicksand, we talked about quicksand. Um, Papa Bear fell in the quicksand, okay? It's something you can't get out of. You go lower and lower and lower and lower. Uh, a cinch, you say, oh, that's a cinch. Something very easy. Very easy. Oh, what's two plus two? That's a cinch. It's four. <laughs> four. Uh, suspend. They kick you out of school. Okay. Um, if you say maybe you, you fight in school, and the, the the principal is very angry, and they say you go home one week. Don't come here. You are suspended. Okay. You're away from school. Cluts. Cluts. Oh. Um, you always break things. A klutz is someone who's always breaking things or stepping on someone's foot or that, that falling down. This is a klutz, okay? Number 24, interfere. Interfere means that um, you, you're doing something and you shouldn't. Maybe two people here are fighting and one person over here goes, I can help. And they go over here and these two people are like, go away. You know, don't interfere. Don't interfere. Interfering means that you're mm, perhaps trying to do something is where you shouldn't. Just you should just walk away. Walk away. Okay. Um, this is this is interference. Okay. You're in the way. In the way. Okay. This was very quick. Um, I want you to try to remember all these words. Uh, bye bye.